What's up, guys? <laughs> um, I'm starting a new book, another um, read along with me book talk vlog kind of thing. And I'm reading There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins, Dutton Books. So I'm on chapter two right now, so not a lot has happened, but it's supposed to be like a, I think, a YA slasher. Not much has happened yet. One girl has been killed, but that's all we know is that she's dead. They made some references to Sweeney Todd. And that was very cool because, like, I, my husband and I love Sweeney Todd, so I know exactly what they're talking about whenever they're talking about the theater production of it and having trouble with one of the songs. And I know what song they're talking about and the melody they're talking about and the issues. So that was pretty cool. I don't know if that's going to come up again, but that was pretty interesting to hear someone talk about and actually know. I assume if you didn't know what Sweeney Todd was or anything about it, it would be a little, like, okay. Keep that in mind if you're going to read this one. Um, this doesn't have super high ratings on Goodreads, I saw, but I didn't read any of the reviews, so. I tend to really like teen horror thrillers, so I feel like I'm going to like this one, as long as it's well written. I mean, I know it's going to be cheesy because teens. I like slashers, and I like horror, and I like Fear Street is one of my favorite book series ever, so I think I'm going to like it. And I hope I do. So we'll see. It, it kind of feels like I'm reading Scream. You know the movie Scream? Like the old 90s movie? Kind of like that kind of dialogue. So it's probably going to be pretty cheesy. But I dig that. That's something I'm really into. So we'll see. Don't mind my massive pimple. And also my husband is streaming in the living room some games. So ignore that. Um, right now I am still reading There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. And they're being crazy. And I am a couple chapters in, maybe four or five. And um, her grandma is terrible. Like I hate her grandma so far. She's kind of a B word and uh, I don't like her so far and it's just real teen you know it does remind me a lot of a Fear Street book but a little less creepy so um, we'll see if it gets really juicy there's some weird language in this like I know they're teens and they're in high school but like I don't understand some of the unspoken language in this like the friends are talking with each other or like this girl and her boyfriend are talking they look at each other and like they're supposed to be some kind of understood like you know when you make you have a conversation with someone you're really close to without using words well I feel like that's what she was trying to show was happening and I just don't understand what was happening like I have no idea what they were signaling to each other it doesn't make sense in any context of what's happening so I'm a little confused there's been a couple of times like that where they were either making references to something that didn't make sense to the situation or it was just really weird signaling. So yeah. Now I'm not saying that gamers can't be bullies, but I have never in my life in a book or a show or a movie seen the nerdy gamer techie people be bullies, like bully oh, normal okay. average classmates for no reason. It's really strange. Like these kids who are obviously gamers with like Minecraft shirts on were picking on this girl. And like I'd, I'd just never seen that before. I mean, I'm sure it happens, but it's just kind of jarring. But like, why you gotta hate on the Sonic Drive-In? Okay, so I can't be too loud because we're at karate right now. <laughs> um, I'm at a point in this book where they, another murder has happened in town and it's another student, but it's at the school this time. They're questioning every student at the school and like, that would not fly in real life. Like you have to have a parent present for a minor to be interviewed by a policeman. And they're not even mentioning that. Like, they're interviewing every student. And that would take months because parents would have to get off work. They'd have to come for the interview. They'd have to sign papers. Like, it's a lot of work to interview minors. And they're just kind of not including that in here. And it's just kind of a weird suspending, suspending disbelief kind of thing. So, I just thought I'd mention that. Some people may not care, but I think it's kind of important. Hey, I, I know I can't, like, show my face because I'm in the tub right now reading, but, like... This character just said anime sucked. Like, right, right there. Right there, he said it. And I just wanted to point out that I resent that. Yeah. I'm so close to being finished. Ah! 
Okay, so I finished There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. I have some thoughts, and uh, I want to think about it a little bit, and then I'll get back to you. Um, I just finished writing my review on Goodreads, and I did my own thoughts and processes, and then after I wrote it, I went and read a few other people's reviews, and I thought that would help me maybe clear some things up. Honestly, I don't know who this was written for. Leans itself as a teen slasher, so I thought maybe like Goosebumps and Fear Street and that kind of theme. But she got really descriptive as far as like underage sex and super gory, nasty murders. So, and also there was some really brutal hazing that went on in this book. So be aware of those things if you're not okay reading them. Trigger warnings galore in this book. It wasn't bad. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say it was bad. A lot of people hate this book. There was a lot of weird comments made in it. There's a lot of weird references. A lot of references to pop culture that if you don't know what they mean or what they are, you probably would be really confused at those times. But luckily, I had known what all of those things were. So I got lucky on that. It's not the best. It's got a lot of fluff to it. I gave it like a three. I wouldn't say it's a two, but also not a four. So, yeah, three's... Three's pretty fair, maybe maybe a little higher or lower, depending on the day. I don't know, it's it's really hard to rate this one. I'm worried that these last two books that I've read are putting me in a slump, so I'm gonna try to read some manga and some comics to get out of it. We'll see. I wouldn't recommend this to teens. I don't know who to recommend this to. Maybe someone who's an adult, but like just barely, I don't know. There was some really convoluted language in this, like words that teens would not use in everyday language. Like, I can't think of one off the top of my head. I should have flagged it. But just words that even adults barely even use. Like, they're just really big words that they would have used something else instead. Not to say that teens are stupid or adults are stupid. But you know what I'm saying. Like, words that people don't use in everyday talk. It just doesn't... People don't talk that way. Also, I know a lot of people have problems whenever a trans character's dead name is brought up. And she kind of mentions a trans character's dead life, I guess, in this. And some people are bothered by that. I don't really know how I feel about it because I've never heard of that before. But I just wanted to let you know if that bothers you that is brought up in here. Characters that were murdered we really didn't care about. So it wasn't like heart-wrenching and you know, scary, like you weren't really there most of the time. There were only a couple times where I was like a little spooked, but it mostly had to do with our main character. Overall, I guess, if you're curious, you can go ahead and pick it up. I got this book on sale at Books a Million for like six bucks. I probably would have been upset if I'd paid the full, I think $18 for this, American. Yeah, 18. But if you can get it on sale, I recommend checking it out, I guess. It was okay. Maybe go read some Goodreads reviews that aren't spoilery, if you are curious. But I think I think she normally writes romances, like teen romances or something. It's got a lot of that in it. It's half romance, half slasher. So it's kind of weird. That's my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> um, let me know if you want to see more book talks in the future. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll be starting a new one tonight. Bye guys.